If you would love to find out how you can harness the energies associated from February the 19th to the 25th, then stay tuned. We start off this week already in the delicious new moon partial solar eclipse in Aquarius. Then come Tuesday, we move into the crescent moon, which is asking us to refine exactly what we want. Then on Friday, we move into the first quarter of the moon phase, which is beautiful. This is my most favorite time of the whole moon phase. Oh my gosh. This is when we take inspired action Action and allow it to flow with ease. This is a truly powerful, powerful week. If you haven't already checked out my previous new moon partial solar eclipse reading, I highly recommend that you do that because you're gonna love it. These two readings kind of um, married together. Anyways, this is a general reading, so just take from this what feels right for you. And if you're new to the fan, hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell so you receive notifications every single time I upload a video. And without further ado, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Hello, my beautiful MK Love fam, and welcome back to another weekly angel guidance. Oh my goodness. Are you ready for this? Na 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 na. Na 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 na. All right. So this is the angel oracle from Doreen Virtue. So we'll just get some clarity and just see what comes up. Okay, angels, what do my MK Love fam need to know? Oh, that was quite quick. Okay, see only love. Now this totally filters in through the new moon energies, which is all about love, love for yourself, love for those around you. Relationships could be deepening to a whole new level. This is a really beautiful card because it says, look past the seeming errors mistakes and misunderstandings and see only love within each person, including yourself. Your resolute focus upon love that underlies every situation brings about healing in undreamed of ways. So what are you holding on to that is not serving your highest good? If we go back through to the new moon, um, actually following on from last week's reading when we talk about, talked about sobriety and what do we need to abstain from? I feel like those energies are still filtering through this week. What are you holding on to that no longer serves you? Because your angels are saying, see only love. When you release it, you set yourself free um, and you, you feel healing in undreamed ways, which that is pretty exciting. So I have a pain in my left wrist for some reason. I don't feel like I sprained it, but as soon as I press record, I feel like it's, I don't know what this is about. Okay, let's just go with it, okay? Let's get another card from this deck. So we want clarity on see only love. One card, angels. Oh, let's try that again. One card, please, angels. One. What do my MK Love Femme need to know this week? Oh, Jesus. Okay. You got not only one card, you got two. Oh, good Lord. Okay. The first card is acceptance. So this could be taken so many ways. The first one that I actually thought about when I saw this, if you are offered opportunities and you don't really understand what they're coming from, coming for, understand what it's gonna look like long-term. The angels are saying you need to accept because this may take you in a direction that you probably have not thought of before. Or maybe you feel like you're not prepared for, but the angels are saying, yes, you are. You really are. And then I heard that song, I'm on the ride, Jack, baby, I was born this way. Oh, okay, that's beautiful. The other thing, this could be taken two ways because this is a general reading. I would say accept where you are. I know some of you will kind of be like, I want to be here, but I'm not. And I'm like, woe is me. And I feel like when you say I am where I am and it's okay. When you, when you say that, like I say that to myself all the time, cause I'm like, how do, why isn't my Instagram account growing more? And by focusing on the lack, I'm getting more of the same. As whereas I'm gonna be, if I was to say, isn't it beautiful that I have like 9,632 high vibrational souls that are following my journey? Isn't it beautiful that, that some of these souls love what I do so much that they send me private messages? Isn't it beautiful that I have lots of high vibrational souls that watch my Insta stories? Isn't it beautiful that people pour their heart out to me? 
and when you focus on what you've got, that's when the universe can bring you more. So if you're in the pity party stage, then you are literally stopping things from coming. And I feel like that's why your angels are saying you need to see only love. So this one, it says, see yourself and others through the eyes of your angels with unconditional love and acceptance. In this way, you inspire and lift everyone to their highest potential. I basically feel like these two are exactly the same. It's just love, 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 love. Okay, then the other card that flipped out just then was energy work. This is beautiful. Some of you I know are energy healers. Um, you know how to raise your vibration and release blockages. This could come in the form of, ooh, there's a baby there. Okay, this card is about, let me just read it first and then I'll tell you what I've just saw. So energy work. Life can be electrifying because its very essence is energy. Your body is a remarkable energy field that will positively respond to loving treatments. Your hands and heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and clients. Can you see there's like a mama bear here looking after her baby? It's like the... Um the Empress card, like very nurturing, motherly energy. If you guys are into energy healing work, then this is the time I feel like that your business is gonna go to a new level. I feel like if you have been thinking about getting Reiki, then maybe book yourself a session. At the end of the day, every single one of you, one of you has the ability to heal yourself. You are the most powerful creature ever and you were the only one that how do I explain it? I feel like some of you don't realize your full, your potential and what you can achieve. Um, I feel like energy is in, then I saw, um, you know the, the rice experiment where there's three different jars and one of the rice, um, you like are mad at it and you say all these horrible words and then another rice jar, I don't know if it's rice or whatever it is, um, and you're just saying like, I love you, I love you, I love you. And that one flourishes so much. And then there's another one where you just ignore it. And I feel like you want to be the one, how random I'm thinking of this. You want to be the one that you're saying, I love you, I love you, I love you too. This can be to yourself and just say, like, how do you feel? Like, I know a lot of you feel so much better when you listen to my readings and you're like, oh, Mel, I feel so good. It's like, yeah, you have the ability to do that for yourself. I do that because I know exactly how it feels to feel like crap and not know a way out. And now that I know the way to help people, that's why I make sure that I, I make you feel amazing. And then when you, come like what you take from my readings is like if you don't really get any messages at least you feel better and then my job is done <laughs> so I feel like paying particular attention to your energy I feel like that could be self-talk as well because if you're very mindful about the words that you're thinking they become the words that you speak and then they basically manifest into your reality if you're having these internal battles in your head going like I'm a useless piece of shit and blah 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 you have 17 seconds to correct that. And you could say, I am learning to love myself more and more each day. I know that I'm going to get there. I understand that self-love is a journey and I'm loving every flipping minute of it. I understand that self-love is not a destination and I am willing to put in the work. I am willing to release anything that no longer serves you. Oh my gosh, this is such a good week. So yeah, pay particular attention to your feelings. How are you speaking about yourself? How are other people speaking around you? Are you noticing different things? Basically what I'm trying to say is that your emotions are the perfect indicator to let you know if you're on the right path to manifesting. Check out this list here. Um, if you're in fear and depression and you're really upset, then you're in at level 22 of the emotional guidance scale. As you progress all the way up to number one, that's when you're vibrating on the frequency of love. You have no blockages. You see only love. Even through all the bullshit that could be handed to you and you're like, isn't it beautiful that the universe has told me that I'm not meant to be in this career path and they have very politely closed those doors and you know, it's okay to be a little bit sad, but just know that there is more goodness that is literally waiting for you. All right.
Let's get some more energy. Ooh, this is really good. All right, oh, by the way, this is the Archangel Raphael healing deck from Dome Virtue. All right, clarity on see only love, acceptance and energy work. What else do we need to know for this week, angels? One card for my MK Love fam. Oh, <laughs> it just flew out. And this card is alternative medicine. I feel like this is your meditation. I feel like this basically is your energy work. What is alternative medicine? What are you doing, doing right now that you feel is not serving your highest good? Uh, is your self-talk an issue? Is this something, no, not an issue. Is your self-talk something that you are willing to improve? The alternative medicine is like literally sitting down with yourself and just saying, I am where I am. Accept where you are and know that you are willing to change. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for guiding me to the ideal healing treatment modality and for giving me clear signs and messages to validate the best path for my well-being. This alternative treatment could be meditation. This could be, I don't know, what do you feel like you need to do that you haven't done for a while? Get on to that. What came up in your subconscious right then? That's your divine message. If you have no idea, then maybe that will come to you later, but this is just a general reading, so just take from it what feels right for you. All right, let's get one card from the numerology guidance deck from Michelle Buchanan. Okay, angels. Whoa, they're flipping out today. I do have to say when I was shuffling today, cards were flying. Okay, synchronicity. So, which is basically what this card here was saying. It's like, notice the signs because these signs are gonna validate if you're on the right path. Synchronicities can come in so many delicious ways. This could be songs that play on the radio. This could be finding money on the ground if you're looking for more, more prosperity. This could be meeting someone new and you feel so damn good inside. You're like, oh my God, we're gonna be BFFs together forever. I have no idea why I feel like this. This is crazy. I've known you for like 20 seconds. Go with those feelings. The universe may be sending you people in your life that maybe you haven't come in contact ever or for a while. I don't know, it just depends. Were you releasing your blockages um, during the full moon? Were you doing your self-love practices or are you continuing to do your self-love practices? But um, I have a video all about synchronicity, so I will link it for you. Okay, let's do one last card. This is such a good week. Whew. Okay, this is the Angel Tarot from Dorian Virtue. So we're just gonna take from it what feels best for us. Angels, one card for my MK Love fam. One card, please. What do they need to know for February the 19th to the 25th? One card for my MK, well, holy shit, you guys got two cards. Woo okay, the first one is the Queen of Fire. This girl is on fire. Stretch your wings and fly, my love. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and your creativity. The fire suit is all about passion. This could be passion in regards to a new relationship and it is bubbling up and it is getting hot in here. Or this could be a passion for your business. Oh my God, goosebumps, goosebumps, guys. Yes, 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 yes. Then I heard that song, here I am, baby. Oh, sign seal delivered, I'm yours. So some of you are finding romance, holy crap. Oh my God, my body is full of love goosebumps. Then we got another fire card. We got the eight of fire. What's the first color you see? The first color you see corresponds with the chakra. First one, ooh, I saw two first. I saw the purple and then I saw the red. The red for me is the root chakra, which is about stability. I'm finding my stability and I can feel it. Oh my God. And then the purple is like the enlightenment, um, the seventh chakra. Yes. Okay. So it says events are moving at a fast pace. Delays are over oh, and the crowd goes wild. That's so cool. Many things happening at once. Wow. This is really beautiful. So even though there's like a lot of fire, can you see like 
you're just in front of the water. So if things get a little bit too much, you're safe, you're surrounded by mother nature, you've got a castle there. It's like there's so much abundance. Oh, so beautiful. Let me just see if I've missed anything from the eight of fire. I just feel good vibes, like really, really, really good vibes. Um, that's the queen of fire. Okay. Hmm, this card can be summed up in three words. Busy, busy, busy. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this time. You know why I'm so excited? Because we're moving into the action phase. I feel like this is the card for the action phase, which is the first quarter of the new moon, which is I take inspired action and allow it to flow with ease. I'm so excited for this time. Do you know why? I'm creating my first mini video program. Okay. It says, this is welcome change. Eight wands fly off in the sky, giving the impression of fireworks. Baby, you're a firework. Make them go, uh, 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 as you should have got sky. Oh, that's a bloody hard song to sing. Basically, it means celebration. It says, it may be necessary to prior prioritize your efforts. It would be easy to let our emotions carry us away, but our purposes are are served by keeping our feelings grounded on an even keel. I think that's probably why I saw, probably that's why the red is at the front. You see that color there, which is the root chakra, which is the stability grounding us. So take your shoes off, go in mother nature. If it's too flipping cold for you, then get out in mother nature some way and just ground yourself. Um, basically your love and support it. Yeah, this is a really good time. This is such a good time. Oh my God, I'm gonna leave it there, my loves. Such a beautiful week ahead. Let's just do a quick recap, okay? So, also make sure you check out the new moon in, uh, the new moon solar eclipse in Aquarius because we're carrying those energies into this whole reading, which if you haven't already checked it out, it was a pretty good reading, let me just say. And then, okay, what happens on Tuesday is we're moving into the crescent moon, which is asking us to refine our intentions. In the new moon, we're basically pressing reset on the clock. Think of it like New Year's Eve. Um, it's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me, and I'm feeling good. Da -da 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 -da. Oh my God, I love b -Blay. So, <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, so we're, refining what we want and as we work out what the flip we want things are moving super duper quick but we need to stay focused to see only love i am where i am and it's okay we need to pay particular attention to our energy what how are we feeling do we feel like we need a reiki session do we feel we've got it sorted ourselves and we're going to meditate how does that look like for you I feel like this alternative medicine is basically the same as this card. It's just a different deck. Okay, um, synchronicities. Pay attention to the synchronicities this week. You know, what pops into your head? Your intuition is highly heightened during this time of the new moon energies. Oh, it's so exciting, my loves. If you find feathers on the ground, that's angel guidance. If you, I don't know, sometimes you just feel like those of you that are untuned will know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and you're the queen of fire. You're stepping into your power and you're like, I am where I am and it's okay. I am the ruler of my own destiny. I create exactly what I want. The thoughts that I think becomes the words that I speak and I manifest it into my reality. And I'm gonna manifest the shit out of it because you know what? We got the eight of fire. Things are manifesting super quick. You're taking inspired action and you're allowing all of this delicious goodness to flow with ease. My gosh, my love. This is such a good week. Such a, such a, such a, such a good week. I'm so excited for you. <laughs> if I could like get through the camera and be like, mm, and just give you all a big cuddle and a kiss and be like, you know, everything is working out for you. Everything is working out with you. If you see some roadblocks and be like, thanks universe, because I obviously wasn't on the right track, but now I am. I'm on the right track, baby. I was born this way. <sighs> I just feel so good. So, so, so good. Oh my gosh, my loves, comment below. Let me know what the flip came up for you because I cannot wait to hear from you. As always, I'm gonna be commenting down below for the first hour after this video is live. So this is what, a 25 minute video. So um, yeah, so probably about 7.30 to 8.30 Australian Eastern Standard Time, I'll be replying. 
Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching. If you are new to the MK Love Fam, make sure you hit that subscribe bell, uh, subscribe button and turn on the bell so you're notified every single time I upload videos. I will see you on Wednesday for the full moon update. Oh my gosh, my loves. Have an amazing day and I will see you soon. I love you.